I was completely horrified. You never saw a town in the middle of New York City just completely destroyed. Devastation. Just a complete devastation. I showed up and my first reaction was just shock. After I came back to Al and I saw what actually happened, it was it was just it was it was mind boggling. It was so just so overwhelming. Bell Harbor, kitchen that once was. This place is torn apart. I had to actually climb over a bunch of rubble and chairs and ovens and refrigerators. These refrigerators literally floated into the hallway from in the middle of the kitchen. I had such a feeling of helplessness and, and I just, uh, just didn't know what to think, what to turn, what to do, what to uh, just, was extremely overwhelmed. At first we weren't sure if we should evacuate or not, uh, until it became uh, mandatory. Once it became mandatory, so then uh, we didn't want to take any chances, so we uh, evacuated everyone. Be careful, be very careful. You go in there and it smells terrible and there's like a film of mud on top of everything. The water had filled up the whole dining room and kitchen and went up into the basement about two feet and all the swarm on the bottom shelves got waterlogged. It was just devastating. When we actually first arrived, we found tables and chairs all on top of each other. The ceiling fell down. There was tile, ceiling tiles, sprinkled all over the place. They were soft as dirt. It's extremely difficult to see, being that the electricity hasn't been restored yet. But this is a room that actually housed four bakram of the yeshiva for the entire Elul's month. The water completely submerged the room, like everywhere else. The bathroom was completely destroyed. moved the yeshiva to a temporary building in Staten Island. The Ebershire created the Rufu Akedem to the Maka. There was an empty building there waiting for us, but the building is actually much too small for our yeshiva. The building would house the yeshiva 40 Bachrim uh, very comfortably. However, Baruch Hashem, these days we have 120 Bachrim in the yeshiva. Nobody knows how long it's going to take to uh, fix everything and rebuild it. But our hope is three, four weeks, we should be able to get the job done. And uh, then we'll be able to go back to Bell Harbor and uh, continue learning uh, in a very comfortable way. The Yeshiva Baruch Hashem has experienced tremendous atzlach in Bell Harbor. Bel Harbor is a very unique community. It's a perfect place for the yeshiva. It's quiet, it's not too far away, it's out of town, but close by. So definitely the plans are to rebuild the yeshiva, get up, back and going, and the Bochum should be able to learn Shtak. And we're confident with the help of the Eilam Atayah, with the help of the Chashuvah Machzik Atayah, that we'll definitely be able to rebuild, and the yeshiva will be 
as good as ever and even better. Thank you.